what paper should I select for my book to be printed on? Hmm, seems like a silly question, right? Because, you know, white paper. But there's actually several options for you to choose from as a self-published author, and I'm going to go into which one you should select today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing all of my insights about self-publishing with you. Before I get started on today's topic, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. That way you'll be here every week as I release new videos on self-publishing and making a career out of being an author. So today um, we're going to talk about something that seems a little mundane. Dwight Schrute would love it. Um, We're going to talk about what your book is made of. So even though paper is not a very exciting topic. It's super important. This is literally what your printed book is made of. It's what it's comprised of. So it does matter and it is important. Um, And it's something that I do help each of my clients select as we're going through this process. So I'm going to go through the options that are available and I'm pretty much going to go through the unique cases and instances when you would pick bright white and pretty much everything else is going to be cream. And I'll explain that. So the first time... Um, so the first option you'll see is white paper. Um, and so when should you use bright white paper to print on? There's only a very few times that you want to do this. So if you're publishing a book with a full color interior, you want to use white and I'll show you why. So this is one of my client books. She did a a really great job writing this. We've hired an amazing designer to do the interior and exterior. But when you have color like this, you don't want this to be on cream, right? You want this to be on bright white so all the color shows through. So if you have a workbook with a lot of color, if you have a nonfiction book with a lot of color, if you have a children's book or another um, fiction book with a lot of illustration, that's the time when you want bright white. Um, And usually you want to pick, I go with the medium quality paper. Um, I don't need photo paper for any of the books I've done so far. Um, It is going to ramp up your cost when you go with a more premium paper. If you go with the most premium option, it's definitely going to be more expensive, but depending on what you need, that may make sense. Like we didn't want glossy paper because we need people to write in this. So it needed to be nicer than just the standard paper. It needed to be a bit thicker to hold the ink. Um, but we didn't want it to be glossy where somebody couldn't write on it. Um, and we didn't want it to be prohibitive. I mean, this is already a huge, very thick workbook. Um, so we didn't want it to be much more expensive with like the nicest, nicest paper. So we went with the middle white paper, for that one so the color would show through um, and so it was good quality and if you're doing a children's book or another book where you have illustrations um, that are full color so it's not just black and white it's not grayscale they are these are color illustrations in your book you're going to want to use white and you're probably going to want to use the higher bond paper so usually when you're in ingram spark or you're in kdp you have three paper quality options so you usually can pick white or cream um, and then you can pick standard premium and then there's like a beyond premium option. They call it different things. Um, so that's where the, the white premium paper comes into play. Pretty much every other instance, um, you're going to want to use cream. So for every other instance, except what I've just described, where it's a workbook, something with full color, children's book with full color, anything with full color, you're going to want to use cream. Um, And so all of my novels are printed on cream paper. And when you look at it, you think like, oh, like, yes, if I hold this up to a bright white piece of printer paper, I can tell that it's cream. But when I look at it, it looks white to me. Like, you know, it's black text on cream paper, but it's really, it looks white, you know, but that slight difference in coloration is important because if you are looking at this, so it's bedtime or you're just sitting around reading, you don't want your eyes to be strained too much. So that's why I say there's only special cases to use the white paper because that bright white paper against black ink, that's a high contrast and that actually hurts the reader's eyes for too long. They'll be squinting, they'll be straining. And for some reason in the back of the mind, they'll be like, I don't know, I don't like that book. Um, Maybe not to that extreme, but the cream is actually just soft of a contrast on the reader's eyes Um, and so you want to make sure that it's more enjoyable for them like you notice the kindle paper white the actual device it uses that almost like that gray screen because it doesn't want to mess with the the user's eyes so um, or when you're reading on a kindle you can change the background of the paper to be sepia to be this cream color so that way it is um, it's better for your eyes so pretty much everything else is cream Um, And that's a very important thing to keep in mind. So don't just default to like white paper. 
Yep. Um, unless you actually need it to be white paper, it should be cream otherwise. So that is my thoughts on what paper you should select for your book. Um, what are your thoughts? What have you used? Um, what, ha- what issues have you run into? Um, have you ever thought this much about the paper that you would use to print your book? Neither did I before I started my self-publishing journey, um, but it's a very important element to actually what constitutes your book when it's printed. So it's important to make sure you have that picked out. Uh, If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. That way YouTube knows that you're getting value from what I'm putting out and it can get these videos in front of other authors like us. And now you can go back to writing your book. (music) 